Hello everybody, welcome to Undead Overexplained, game number 13. I don't really know what I'm playing, but it doesn't matter, because I'm 80 TV down, so I'm going to get kegs and assistant coaches, and then we can discover what I'm playing together. Oh my god, it's Imperial Nobility. <laughs> Dimmy will be loving this. Oh wow, what a, what a name. Nacho Bill. Colo Lo... Colo... Colo I don't know, right? Doesn't matter. Rule of five. Apparently half my team is now dead. Oh yes, it is. Look, I've just got rookies. I'm just fielding rookies because all my players have died. Classic gym. Do have a block mummy. That's good. Um, I guess make protect the sneaky get the most <laughs> protect the sneaky get the most oh he's got a tackler he's actually got a lodge step okay so yeah look at his team look at his team what's he got he's got two guards he's got a, what the hell's this this must be a random right grab and then lodge step tackle it's a hell of a player is this wrestle strip Lyman, okay. I mean, is that the Fend? Yeah, okay, so these are the... He's just gone all randoms, I think. I think he's probably just gone all randoms, right? Safe pass. It's safe to say he's gone all randoms. Um, this is tough because I really don't want him to... I don't want him to tackle... The... Uh, ghouls. But I also really don't want him to just remove a mummy instantly. So this way he's got to send in a guard and blitz. So this is probably the best way to protect the mummies at least a little bit. Because now he's got to bring in a guarder which will be getting hit back. And so he's got to bring in that to hit. And then if he wants to hit these he's got to put a guard next to a mummy to blitz one of these with tackle. So this, this seems uh, a decent defence. Good. Right, so there you go, face cams back, as you can tell. I'm, I don't know how keen I am on this development. Um, I've become very shy over the past six years. <laughs> so, uh, we'll see. Well, seven, eight years. But we'll see. Fingers crossed I can keep it on. That's not fingers crossed, that's thumbs up. Same thing. There is an Undead Mirror today, yeah, in the World Cup. Um, World Championship. I think we'll do the Undead Mirror as a replay, right? Because mirrors are generally... I did advertise it the other way around. But the other way is Knobs versus Dark Elves. Which I feel is going to be a more interesting game to watch than an Undead Mirror. An Undead Mirror is just going to be mummies banging each other plus there's 12 mummies there's 12 undead teams in the tournament so like there's enough undead isn't there getting covered so let's let's cover knobs and uh, knobs and stuff so anyway so there was the kick that was, i mean i explained the setup there you go that was good wasn't it yep can indeed hello ron yep um please don't be mean oh wow instant fail well it's not a fail right because he's got wrestled but it's not as it's not a success like a block would be um, showing showing uh, how bad that is. So there we go. So he's gonna punch things. Punchy punchy. Make a screen for the ball. Pick it up. Right, like not in that order. <laughs> He could have he could have won in twelve nine six, right? All these guys, or not maybe it's not all of them, a lot of them could, you know, just move to here and here and here and here and just move there before, right? There's no need to not like maybe these two guarders, right? Maybe one guard is gonna go there and maybe this guy's gonna go there. So they should have just gone there already. Oh, 
Um, guard shouldn't assist fouls. It was errated. Uh, the only dead man. So yeah, a young Sean Connery. Wow. <laughs> There you go. Fantastic. Thanks. See, this is how you get me to keep the face cam on. Wonderful. I can just do the chunter voice and then uh, <laughs> it'll be perfect. <laughs> Fantastic, Mr. <Mishnabron>. Braun. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, shit. So, I mean, it's only a zombie, but it's still annoying, right? You don't want to. You want players removed, it always makes it harder. But, I mean, he's got his... ...overexposed. Which... I haven't got my uh, auto-clicker on. So... Should have done this before I started streaming. But never mind. Okay, there's the auto clicker sorted. It's the only way I can like stand up my players reasonably. <laughs> Let's wrestle. So this guy's quite far away, so he's got a rush to hit. So because he's got a rush to hit, we can put this ghoul out here, I believe. Let's just go bang in with a mighty blow. Of course it's a fail. Classic. We can put this guy on there. Okay, we can leave these guys on this line. So it's a rush to hit them with a uh, tackle. <laughs> you are yes to me, according to Torplay, which apparently three people in England use. <laughs> no offence. <laughs> also, like, you know, you're not the number one, are you? You're number one ranked by one system, you know? Like, um... You know... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not being mean, Dimmy. I'm not being mean. It's just one ranking system. Saying you're top of one ranking system doesn't mean you're the best. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it's just not true. Doesn't mean you're the best. Why not base the blockers? I mean, yeah, could have, could have based this guy, but it was just a little bit tricky. I didn't really have the support this turn. I thought, let's start with the... Start with this and see what he does, basically. I, was, I just thought, let him come to me. Because he does have a fair amount of guard, doesn't he? So I thought, we can move in the guards into better spots if they have to be next turn. Oh, he's gone stupid. You'll love to see it. That might open up a ball hit, mightn't it? Not that I really... Oh, no, of course he'll just one dice power me. Why would, en why would that ever happen? And it's an AB break. Brilliant. Brilliant. So that's a bit of a dicing, isn't it? That's uh, very unlucky. Wait a minute, though. The follow... The follow means that we can just punch this guy and see what happens, right? And if it's a pow, then can this guy get to here? He can. So then we could pow him, pow him, and then just hit the ball. So, safe moves first? No. Just go straight for this two dice block, see if it's a pow. Of course it isn't.
God damn it. I mean, I wasn't planning on pals. I was hoping for a pal. Like, I, uh, you say planning for pals, Dimmy. I mean, you do have to plan to see what happens if you roll the pal, right? I wasn't relying on it. But yeah, so you've got a plan to say, what What if this is... So it's a good point. Good point, Dimmy. Thank you. You've got a plan. What happens? You've got a plan for every event in eventuality, right? If I make this block, what happens if it's a power? What happens if... Well, he's going to go... He's going to stand firm probably anyway. What happens if it's a power? What happens if it's a push? What happens if it's a dub skull or quad skull, right? So, you know, if it's horrendous to dub skull or quad skull, then you've got to do your savings first, etc., etc. I feel like I probably should be hitting up here to try and, you know, block his path, but I could blitz with him. It's really tempting. I like it's so tempting in fact that that is what I'm gonna do. I probably should have gone quicker. So we'll keep the sneaky get dirty player back. He's got Fend, which absolutely stops us in our tracks. If only we had an extra square of movement to... Oh, well, there we go. That was difficult. Right, well, there we go. You could YOLO it, but you know, look, this is undead over explain. I'm trying to explain things. I actually have a I actually have a uh, bribe here, don't I, but can't knock anything over, so that's fun. He's got thirteen no, he's got twelve players, one's been KO'd. Wait, how did that get KO'd? <laughs> oh, he just d failed to dodge and KO'd himself, didn't he? I literally... That didn't register to me at all. Did Literally did not register at all. He is going to get to hit the uh, mummy here, isn't he, maybe? Maybe not. All right, yeah, he's got the... He's got the... Oh, he's just going to blitz. No, he's not. I guess the ogre's going to blitz the other mummy, and then he's going to one dice. Oh. So surely the play was to blitz this one with the ogre. And then 1D this other ogre, right? 1D one ogre and blitz the other. Like, so you would have had to block this first, obviously. And then, and then, so he wasn't going to blitz then because he would have had to block this first so he didn't have to dodge. So the play was to block this one first, then blitz with the ogre, and then uh, block this guy. So instead, he's just going to uphill. <laughs> he's going to uphill the mummy. Good. I think he didn't see this guy. That's uh, what happened. Alright, so let's put the mummy. In front. Well, we're definitely going to put it in front. Are we going to blitz with the mummy? No, we're not going to blitz with them. I mean, sorry. We are, yes, we are going to blitz with the mummy. Yes, we are. So, I think we jam with the mummy in here. That's going to be a two dice block. What else is there? This guy, I would like to block him with the guard assist, then move him somewhere else. So I don't want to move that. Also, if I power him, I want to move him around. So probably the only one that doesn't need to have anything extra is this guy up here. There we go. Right. So then the second thing is this. This is going to go for the easy kill, right? Because he's AV 8 plus. Could have blitzed this one, but... Okay, get wrestled. And we're going to put block on that guy. 
so it's not so easy for him. Um, I really just want to foul the guard, I don't, I don't want to really foul this guy. Um, but I guess I could. But then I need the third dice on this guy. I don't need the third dice. But it's better, isn't it? It's quite a lot better. So let's get the third dice on this guy. And we'd also like to punch this guy. We've already got the assist there. But I guess he can go in there. These, mm, do these don't want to be touching him. They do want to protect him a little bit. And just be central. And I should really try to talk in my opponent's turn about what just happened. Rather than in mine. We do get the power of third dice. Saves us a reroll and gets the knockdown. And nothing. And I didn't do this block before the turn ended. Because I thought that was the end of the turn. God damn it. So I missed out on a block there. That was dumb of me. But I was panicking because I was a bonus time burner. So that was very bad wasn't it. I could have knocked over this guard. It might have killed him. Bad gym. But I was just panicking because I used too, too, too much time. I'll try and go quicker on my turns and then maybe talk through them afterwards. It's been a long time since I've played this team, so I was a bit... A bit unpractised at talking um, while playing. I'm not super happy about committing the sneaky get dirty player and not fouling with him. But the three dice was very good. Is this his ball carrier? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's his ball that's a ball carrier blitz because he had tackle. Hmm. He is in. Only fans next. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. Maybe not the only fans. Maybe hold off on that. There will be a hot tub stream with Dimmy at some point. <laughs> but, oh my god. This has gone like stupid every turn, hasn't it? I think it like three turns in a row the ogre has gone stupid. That's crazy. I can get round to make this a 1D, but can't, uh, can't do that. So just a 2D there. 2D there, and then the sneaky kid is free. Maybe just a foul. Could blitz there. This could be the blitz. We can't get three dice on him. We could 2D there, 2D there, then this guy could come around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, rush, rush, that's a long way. Then but then that would give us the blitz and it would give us two D on the ball. <sighs> Getting two D on the ball is pretty pretty tempting, isn't it? But I don't think that's gonna happen this is it not gonna happen? I think I've just gotta punch this guy and see what happens. And I've got block, so I'm gonna get wrestled. I can't say I'm happy about that. What's this skill? Shadowing. <sighs> Big pow. Maybe I should have done that. I didn't want to start with a blocker's block, but maybe I should have. Right, so I've got... I could double rush to then 2D blitz to maybe 2D the ball. I mean, that's so good that I'm going to go for it. Lovely. Full power. Another full pal. Glorious. Yep. 
Pretty good. Pretty good turn. Pretty good turn. I would say. Oh yes, Timmy, that's a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> oh, frosty. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Jim Cam is back. This is probably oh, it's weird, right? Because I'm, I'm I slouch. I've got to stop slouching, and then if I sit up, then this needs to come down a bit, doesn't it? Because that's a bit. That's a bit excessively, ex excessively high. If I, so I've got to sit up properly. This is actually quite good, isn't it? Make sure the posture's correct. No, he finally activated his auger. Mega diced. This, uh, this bolt down was pretty unlucky, wasn't it? Yeah, he does get tackle here. Jesus. Plastic isn't comfortable, is it? Oh, fails the pickup. Fails it again. Oh, baby. So the first thing to do is stand this guy up. Instant. Second thing to do is stand this guy up. Mm, no, because we could block him, and then if it's a pal, he could stand in there, which is a slightly better square. Slightly. I think the next play is this block. There's also this guy, but I don't know where this guy wants to go yet. There's an argument for Glorious. blitzing this fellow, isn't Lord, it? I won't give in until I'm victorious. I think we have to block this and guy I will first. Defend. I will block defend. This block. Oh, man, this is so it's so hard. There's Christo so many things 82, to do. Hello, There's so many things to do here, honestly. This is really tough. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> um Blitz the guard. But then I can block the guard. Okay, so block the guard. But then if I'm gonna block the guard, block this guard, because I've got mighty blow. Diced. Kaz. Right, block this guy. Oh my god, two rerolls gone on the same turn. What an absolute disaster. Okay, but that is a great stun. Now I can blitz this guy with a uh, block. That was um, disappointing, wasn't it? Right, we're going to put blood stepper on the ball. Blah. So now I'm not going to reroll this one in nine because I've, re I've one in nine too many times. I'm just going to tag him with a blood stepper and block this guy. Get a full pow. Hit him away. This guy could stand there, right? But then he's just definitely getting blitzed with tackle. Which just seems terrible. It's going to like get him killed. He's my best player. I just want to move him back. Protect him. Um, there. So if this was... Uh, if this was NAF style, I would have gone there. Right, obviously. Tackles on the ball. Brilliant. Though actually he'd be able to scat him he'd be able to scatter the ball then, wouldn't he? Whereas now he can't scatter it because he's got to blitz this guy to scatter it and he can't get the angle to blitz this guy. So actually mind he can he can try to move both off. So this is this is maybe 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 he could have gone here, right? Maybe maybe here would have been a better square for the sneaky get dirty player. But I didn't want to foul this guy because he's already stunned, right? I can foul him next turn. 
That was a brutal turn for rerolls, wasn't it? Two rerolls down that turn. But still got one for three turns. I'd still like to get the ball and score here, but the tackler is a bit annoying. So I'll take a stop as a win, but I'd really like to. I'd really like to get the counter score here. Hello, Christopher B. Thank you for staying fantastic for 20 glorious months. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what is wrong with you guys? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. It's, it is what it is, isn't it? Right, sidestep. So he can... He can't actually scatter this again, can he? Not on... Not, I, he could, I've got a defensive... He can't get an offensive assist, so I don't want to scatter it. I want to keep it with one tackle zone on. Maybe it should have gone back. He gets the 4 plus pick up. Outrageous. Outrageous. No, oh, and then just stays there. And then dodges. Doesn't dodge. Is this a 2D? Oh, no, this is a 2D. Is this a 2D? No. I could make it a 2D, and then it's a 2D with block. Which is better. And I can't get the assist on, so I'm just going to smash in with 2D, see what happens. In fact, just stand this guy up first. Safe moves first. Hope for a pow. Don't get it. Dice, never lucky. Actually can't follow. Ugh. What a disaster. I need to get the sidestepper on him. Which I guess means blocking him. Tagging him with him so I can then tag him from behind. Okay, so it sucks le le letting this guy up, but now I've got an instant 2D on him if he stands him up. And this is a bit trickier for him to get out of this, isn't it? And this guy was still covered. So if I'd failed the dodge, I still at least had this guy occupied. Um, rather than, like, you know, coming across blitzing and then potatoing off. So it was re it's really sad that I'm not getting to foul with my sticky get dirty player, honestly. Maybe that... Like, the problem is ghouls are, like, really good players, aren't they? The thing is here, ghouls are just really good players. So I'm just wanting to use a really good player a lot of the time. Oh, he blitzed from the wrong angle. He could have chained his... Uh, Ogre in. Was that a misclick? That sure feels like a misclick, right? Either, either one of the blitz there and then pushes Ogre in here. Who then, uh. No, would have blocked this guy, I guess. My snurty, yeah. Uh, yeah, the, uh. The sound effects do need to. Do need to come back. <laughs> oh, Randall currency. <laughs> yep. Yep. It's happening. This is pretty decent, isn't it? This is just like a 1D for him. He does have tackle, but it's not great for him having a 1D. He doesn't have anything better than a 1D. Oh, but well, he's got something worse than a 1D, which is this dodge. Into death. <laughs> nice. 
Really nice. Right, let's just block with the blood. Block with block. Full power. Follow. Ball is there. Hit him. And I can't get three dice. And uh, I think I have to blitz him and then try for the pickup with that guy. Yeah, that's what I think I have to do. Just stand him up for safety. Block him with block because it's safe. Might kill him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, that's really good, isn't it? Okay, so get wrestled. That's not terrible. Because now this guy can punch this guy with a second assist that had already got in. And uh, now he can come up there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Rush. Um, but if I dodge, I get to keep the, uh, I'll put him there to lock him down on the pow. And then now I've forced myself into the dodge, but this gets me into scoring range. Beautiful. Beautiful cores. And we're in the third, third columns that if he pals us somehow, um, it won't go out of bounds. And had this secondary scoring threat here as well. Lovely jubbly, great turn. Things didn't really work, first choice, right? First choice would have been, you know, this powing and then him getting it and running up. But um, it actually worked fine. And then, and then obviously getting to foul this guy with a sneaky get dirty player is what I, re I really want to foul him. But the problem is that if I needed him to, I need the ball out of the way because I need to stand in the square the ball was in to get two assists. Whereas if I foul there, I'm getting hit by an ogre, which is definitely not what I want. That's the sideline. I don't know what you're talking about, Dimmy. Hey, one and nine. I could come back and foul. <laughs> that doesn't seem like a great choice, does it? Uh, we can three dice here. Kaz. Nice. And then he can run around to make this a three dice. Pow, 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 pow. Um, unfortunately, I've somehow not done this correctly. I guess what I should have done was I should have... This zombie should have moved to assist here, then he should have blitzed so that he could have run back and done it that way, and I've got an additional hit. But, you know, nobody's perfect. But that was a pretty good drive, wasn't it? Three Kaz and uh, scoring his turn eight. So that is a perfect, a perfect drive, really. So SPP on the sneaky git isn't, isn't perfect, but you know, it can get blocked as well, it's not bad. And then this half, what do we want to score on? Um, this white to get in guard, right? Yeah. This white ticket on card. Yeah. 
Could also just try to do two passes. What's that? Five plus. Okay, can't try to do passes. Man, it's sad that you can't farm SPPs from passing anymore. Sad times. Well, very few can. Throwers can. And, uh, like, pro elf blitzers can. But most people can't farm SPPs from passing anymore. Oh, I haven't got a save to set up on offense. That's annoying, isn't it? It's just put. Wow, what a what a horrendous thing this is. How many SPPs is this guy on zero? Well, he could also score. And the one on four could get a Kaz. Lodge steppers are inside because I don't want them to get hit. In fact, I can put them back. Yeah. Right, so we'll save this. So what's the point of this setup? Um, you've got minimal commitment on the LOS and then a reasonable amount against a blitz, right? Reasonable stuff against a blitz on the sides there. You can't fully defend it unless you don't have somebody back to pick up the ball, uh, which is good in case it goes super deep, so I'm okay with that. Yeah, it was brilliant, Randall Carvis. And you can still do it a bit with, like, Elven Union, right, because the Blitzers pass on a 3+. plus, So you can nearly do that. So the kick is perfect. These guys are already positioned perfectly because, you know, against the Blitz. So now we can go straight into punching things. What I have done terribly though is I got my uh, I got my mummies confused here, so now I'm having to block with this blockless one. Just get to push those. That's perfect. What's he got? Shadowing. So I'll take the bolt down. How him? And then um, let's get three assists. Am I going to blitz anybody? I guess I am going to blitz this. Uh, what's he called? Bodyguard. and then go there so we've got a full full screen that side not quite as good a screen this side and uh, yeah we can, we can care about the ball next week let's foul this uh, ogre dead 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 <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Not bad. Love blood ball. Love blood ball sometimes. Oh, you might concede now. <laughs> You're probably thinking, why didn't I already concede? Oh, wonderful. A dead ogre. We could go for 3-0 here. There's an argument for it. You know, lots of removals, so he's got less players to stop us. And also, total mental collapse after dead ogre. Is, is probable. <laughs> You've got to think about it. You've got to think about the mental game. 
good handoff to the strength four uh, to the strength four the four SPP, and then go forward and score in like three or four turns and could go for the three now. I don't hate it. I mean, could just also not hand off and score in uh, score in turn twelve. Oh, no, he's gonna foul. God damn it! Didn't expect this. It's all right. Okay, let's move him in. And uh, this is a blockless block, which is absolutely terrible, right? Artemis would kill me if I did this. So um, let's not do that. Let's move him in there. There is, an arg there is a strong argument for moving him up here this turn, isn't there? Yes. Yes, there is. Okay, a blockless block. 1 in 81 is pretty terrible at this point. But, you know, sometimes you've just got to bite the bullet, haven't you? Right, the zombie can come back there. And then he can go there. In fact, well, yeah, he's still on both hit anyway. So, But this, like, protects him a bit more. Now the Blitz wants to be on the sidestepper to get his tackle away from the blood stepper. I've blitzed with the, the 4 SPP guy. Oh my god. What an idiot. So normally a blitz with a f furthest away guy, right, is the is the usual strat. So that's what I went for, because that's like the normal best play automatically. I just blitz for the furthest away guy, but the furthest away guy was the one I wanted the SPPs on. Um, so yeah, let's foul him first. Fully screened. Fully screened. Snurty now. Nothing. Yeah, that was real bad. That was real bad. I, I did have him in there, and I, I, that's why I wanted to move this zombie so that I could move him forward as well. So this really should be the 4 SPP guy right now. Well, to be fair, he's blitzed him. And made it a double rush for him, so I guess I'm okay scoring on the rookie ghoul. And then try for the turnover touchdown on, on this guy. Is he called Rolf? Oh dear. It's not good anymore, is it? Having a player called Rolf. Okay, so that's a great dice. He's, he's, he's had rubbish dice this game, to be fair. <laughs> to be fair, he has had rubbish dice. Let's move in there for the assist. He could three dice him. He just has to move seven first. First and foremost. I really want to blitz this guy, but I guess I do have to protect the ball a little bit. And when I say a little bit, I mean a complete full cage. <laughs> The only Rolf I know is from, <laughs> is a Nazi, <laughs> well, I mean, apart from Rolf Harris, is uh, the producers, right, when he goes, I was born in Dusseldorf and this is why they call me Rolf. I don't know why this guy, oh, this, because this, so he could be a scoring threat, but he should have just been one back. I don't know why I've given him a five plus in. 
That's just idiotic. Probably should have tagged the tackle array. <laughs> yeah, sound of music <laughs> with the producers is pretty good, isn't it? That sounds that sounds pretty strong. Sound like it would be great. I mean, really do. Oh, were there any were there any uh, foreign games on today in the NFL or not? I know there's like three Londons. Are they like doing like German ones this tomorrow? Because I was thinking, uh, yeah, you know, for like, for the... Oh, the hours have been on Sundays anyway, haven't they? Hours have been on Sundays anyway. Pow. Oh. Why did he not stand firm? Now, I, now he's giving me the move out. Three, four, five, six. I can get three dice here, right? I just need to power this guy. Oh, he should have done the blitz, get SPP on him. Doesn't count as a dance because it was auto pathed. <laughs> Literally, the game, the game, uh, <laughs> the game toxic, uh, to toxic danced into the end zone. Brilliant. What about these zombies? The two SPP one. So yeah, bench the two SPP to try and get, um, you know, things. All right, what's he on? Four, seven, eight players. Four turns to turn him over and get the three nil. Completely reasonable. Hello, Quincy. Hello, Captain Smee. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to try to keep it going. Of course, not for the casts because casts, there's uh, they're different, aren't they? But, um, it feels somewhat disrespectful, I think, to have your face on if you're just doing a commentary. So. Uh, I never had my face on doing the commentaries. And then um, when I got ill, I just stopped face cam altogether. And honestly, it's so much easier not having face cam on when you can just, you know, hold your head in your hands and <laughs> be tired and just sit with your eyes closed during your opponent's turn every turn. <laughs> it's so much easier not having face cam on at all. So that made it, it made it easier and easier and easier to not have face cam on. And then... When I, I, was, I was ill for like three years, I think, nearly four, and then, um, yep, thanks for that, and then, and then I got better, so I could have brought it back, but, um, but I didn't because it was easier not to, <laughs> but, um, yep, and we've got it back now, so there you go. Okay. Mummy in and blitz. Does this one blitz? Yeah, I can't rush. I can't rush. Rushing is not allowed. Thanks, Maud Ready. <laughs> I think. <laughs> oh, 
Beispiel. Let's go for. Oh, well, there's this guy as well. Yeah, yeah, foul, foul the guard. Let him use wrestle if he wants. I don't care, I'm a zombie. Stuns himself. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> I don't mean that as that the opponent is an idiot. Um, I mean the player who stunned himself. That was the funny thing. Uh, yes, position rings. Yeah, it's. I don't know. I put them on in the World Cup and they just have like really forgotten to take them off. I haven't really thought about them. I don't know if they're good or not. It's good for some players where it's harder to tell apart who they are. It's actually helped me in this game to see who the ghouls are. Um, so. It helps sometimes. It's funny that the most distinctive ones offer players that you absolutely know what they are because they're the strength five guys. But yeah, it helps with the blitzers a lot, doesn't it? Easy to see where the blitzers are. Sometimes it's harder to tell which is which player because of the white rings, you know, on the positionals and well, on the linemen and the white lines on the white rings on the active team. So it does make the linemen are a bit confusing. But um, yeah, knob rings. I'll how, if you don't mind me asking. Also hygiene. I don't know what I'll how means. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Hello. Oh, he passed it to the, to the catcher. Oh yeah, I guess I could just have block always show, couldn't I? Oh, but no, no, I don't think it works like that. I don't think it actually works like that. Let's, um, I can't rush. I can't rush. This frees up a ghoul, which is good. Yeah, you do get used to the rings, yeah. I mean, get used to anything, don't you? Hello, Pedro. Ill in what way? Um, I don't like to talk about it, honestly. I, I don't know if I... I don't think... I might have mentioned it once when I was, like, doing Battle Brothers. So it was, like, a limited number of people. Um, because... It's not, like... It's not... <laughs> What I will say is it's not like one that people would think is the worst thing ever. It's it's also not like but it's a, it was it was bad. It was bad for me, but I feel like people might just think I'm lame even though it's not. And then you've got to explain it all and I'd rather not basically. Um do that. So there you go. smash but it was like chronic chronic pain it's safe to say oh he's got fend so normally I'd put an assist here block and follow to cancel his assist but I can't do that right so everybody who says fend is good literally all you have to do is have a brain <laughs> and move this guy in there first right like it's really not hard to play around three four five six but people just don't do that and then be like, oh, Fen's really good. I'm like, no, no, it isn't. I just had to have a brain and not do it. Full power. Oh, these the he is the snurty. I can smash this guy to bits. Oh, do I do I board down? Do you know what? If I board down, I could die. So I'm not going to board down. <laughs> 
Even though, even though he's a big, bad, scary mummy, I could die if I bought them. Yeah, thanks, Hyperbrain. Yeah. It's not Typhoid or anything. Um, it was not Toes, no, no. No, the Toes were, uh, the Toes were just ingrown toenails that weren't, weren't that bad. I, I just got three, t I got two, no, I got one toenail removed and two half toenails removed. And it's really quite a normal operation and standard and not really notable in any way. But somebody thought it'd be funny to say that I had no toes after that happened. Um, which was obviously not the case and then that stuck forever. Okay, um, yeah, pow him. This is a blitzer. Ooh, so do you know what? Because this is a blitzer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this guy in to here. And then this guy in to here. And I'm going to block him Glorious. with him. No, I won't and give push in him onto the ball to give me a 3 and 8 scatter defend. out the back. I will defend. Which instead is caught by him, but that's okay. That's, that's, that catch is totally fine. Because we have this guy able to blitz him with block, no problem. He didn't remove the toes. <laughs> and uh, I can use a real because I've got three. Okay, good. Removal. And I'll just base him, I guess. And then this guy can three dice, eh? There's no reason not to three dice. What's the best way? The best way is probably the guard right in the middle. And this guy up there to keep him off the blitzer. So I guess I could have moved them a while ago because this was unaffected by the other things. And could have done the three dice block. Should have done the three dice block before the blitz, shouldn't I, actually? So slight, slight ordering issue there. Refuse to tow the line. Oh, dear. Um, hello, see, Ross. Thank you very much. Staying fantastic for nine glorious months. A human pregnancy. Didn't you say that the other day? Is this, a, is this one that's just happened? One of those that happens twice for some reason. Right, um, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, let's. Three dice him. And fail. <laughs> and two dice him. And fail. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Three dice in. And pow. could foul just pointlessly out of meanness, but that's stupid, isn't it? It actively stops me getting the touchdown. Well, hey. Get the pickup, get number three. Fantastic. This is like a good SPP optimization game, wasn't it? You know, like it, it would have been safer to just win 2 0, but was able to get the extra SPPs. Uh, you know, somewhat targeted. I made a slight mistake. Oh my god, I made a slight mistake, but that's okay, isn't it? You know, it, it? I didn't need to have made that slight mistake. The point was to get to score early to go for the 3 0, which, while it is wrong for winning games, but even then, it wasn't even that wrong for winning the game, was it? Because at 2 0 up, it was pretty much over. But.
Yeah, it does that. It does do that. It's weird. <laughs> yeah, vocals, yeah. I mean, that does happen, doesn't it? It does happen with, with Undead, especially, like, with them having the Strength 5 Mighty Blows. You're getting loads of 3Ds with Mighty. It's pretty strong. You often just bang people out and get... Because you've got ghouls. Like orcs, you don't have you don't have the same speed, do you? Like well, these have a movement seven dodges. You can get a you can bang a few tuddies in. Um or is the orcs like it's pure weight of blocks and like positional advantage and stuff. Whereas mummies smash things and ghouls run around, so they're a lot they're a lot weirder in that regard. And like lizards are another team that could go three 0 if you don't want to score on Saurus, but like lizards you really want to score on Saurus. So lizards, you, you know, lizards could win three 0 if they were trying to, but they generally just want to uh, soar a score. But I thought that was all right anyway. You know, I tried to try to do the correct ordering and stuff mostly. Uh, try to three D with mummies. Three D with mummies is like one of the biggest things, right? Keep them, keep them active. And keep them 3 d in are like two of the biggest things you can do with mummies, I'd say. It's funny because actually skilling whites has completely changed, right? They used to be mighty blow first every time because they were the only players in our team that could get mighty blow piling on. Whereas now they don't get mighty blow piling on. So now they can just go guard first and then mighty blow tackle. Or they can start with a mighty blow to get more skills quicker. Um, it's it's not terrible to start with mighty blow. Glorious. But no, God, I won't really give good, in until I'm victorious, and I will defend. I will defend. Four. Thank you very much, Frosty. What a legend. Right, let's blitz him for Jim Camp. Thanks. <laughs> It's been a while, hasn't it? Fuck, <laughs> killed him. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Let's just move him down there. Alright. I mean, he shouldn't blitz, right? He should just do his rushes to score. No reason for me to care about him scoring. Oh, well, <laughs> especially not <laughs> when he does that. So there you go. Right, a glorious domination. 3-0, woohoo, gone to platinum, woo! And uh, there you go. Um, yeah, so that was good. I mean, I thought that was, obviously got very, he was, he was pretty unlucky. He made some, either a misclick. I think one, I think one was a misclick or it was just, you know, a really bad decision. Um, and he made a few other things that were either misclicks or bad decisions, like dodging and stuff. Um, but he was, uh, it was a good thing about maximizing the SPP and maximizing three dice blocks from mummies. Um, so I thought it was okay. Right, thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.